welcome to Aerobics Our Style. Today we've got some leg exercises to work you through. So let's start to warm your body up, having your feet out wide, reaching your arms up towards the ceiling, and then releasing it down. Let's try that one more time. Big breath in, everybody. And exhale. All right, start to draw your legs back together. I want you to slide your hands down towards the knees. And on the way up, you're going to scoop and pull your body up to a nice tall position. Do that one more time, please. So inhale as you go down and exhale coming all the way up. Let's begin with a nice basic march in position. Rolling down in through the ball of the foot into the heel. Sit your shoulders comfortably by the side of the body. Now take your feet out wide as you do four wide marches. Coming back in for four counts. Out wide and back in a couple of more. Take it back in one more time please. All the way out. All right, follow that through with a nice basic step touches. Reach your arms forward and backwards. Pull your hands firmly in towards the hips. Today's work will focus on floor exercises. So we're going to work into the side of your hips, the back of your thighs, and your inner leg muscles. Eight, seven, six, five. Keep going. Four, three, two. Let's rest your arms as you work into the back of your legs now. A little bit of a curl. Press. Okay, now only do four step touches. One, two, three. Four basic curls. So hands get a chance to rest. Back to the step touches. Soft into your knees and a curl. Now next time you're going to do two curls followed with a double. Are you ready? Only two curls first. One, two. Double, step touch on your left. So four of the step touches, adding two curls. One double. Please do it again. Step, step. Moving your feet out a little bit wider each time into the double again. Step, taking your feet out to the front this time, and a curl, curl. Double, once more, add the arm change. Okay, little clap. Double up, and take it to your left. Swing your arms down right through your hips, and little step curl. Double up, one more each way. Pump the arms away. Good, little curl, double up. Last time on your left leg, push. Two, three, and four. Step curl, good. Easy walk on your right, everybody. Soft into your knees. Be sure to sit your body up nice and tall here. So from your waist, focus and practice good upright positions. Two more. One more time, let's take it from the very beginning. Step touch, move your arms to the left and the right. Two curls, clap it, good. One more each way. Step, tap, heel, working your leg out to the front. Step, curl, good. Again, one, two, three, four, and curl it. One more to go, press. Good. Finishing it off, let's get ready for your easy walk on your right leg. Easy right, sinking down on top of your knees. Are you feeling a little bit warmer? Well, I hope so. So we'll put the routine together again one more time, keeping it very basic and functional. Last time, step touch again, please. Swing those arms across the body. Step curl with a double up. Easy walk on your left leg. Four of these. Learn to roll through the heel, that's it. Step touch again. Arms go out. Keep your elbows nice and low. Step curl. Easy walk, one, two, two more. Okay, one more time each corner. Step touch again. Moving that heel right up to the front of the body. Working into a curl step. Easy on the left leg. Nearly to the end now. Keep your shoulders nice and relaxed, fairly loose. Step touch to finish it off. One, two, three, four, adding a curl. Let's move on to your easy walks. Good, two more times. Now I want you to march in position and take a deep breath into the body, breathing in. Exhale, come down once more, lifting up energy into the hands. Now what we're gonna do is slide, step, do four marches. Then slide across to your left corner, four marches. Now this completes your warm-up session. When we return, we hope to see you down on the floor, starting off with some side leg exercises.
Welcome back. Now we're heading down to the ground to start to work into some leg exercises. Side leg lifts are next. You can either position your head like this or support the head with the hand. Alternatively, if you're going to rest the head down, it's probably important that it's necessary that you roll a towel up so that your neck is not overly flexed, laterally flexed. We want to just keep it in a fairly stable position. All right, here we go. What we're going to do is line this top leg, moving into the exercise. The focus of this movement is to pull the knee into the body and push the foot away from the body. Okay. Try not to curve your spine each time you raise your leg up to your chest. We don't want you to flex your trunk like so, shortening the front of the body. So keep this nice and stable and only allow the leg to come up as high as you can maintain this flex up position. There you go. Now play with the foot. Each time you pull the knee up, point the foot and then flex or vice versa, whichever works best for you. And point, push through the heel, point. Encourage the leg to stay level with the top of the knee so it doesn't end up here or drop. Okay, nice line, pull. And again, lift and out, lift. Be sure to draw your abdominals in to assist your pelvis to keep it nice and stable. Two more. Good, one more time. Now hold the leg in position. We're gonna sweep it just a tiny bit forward. If you can take it back as far as you can. So small movement to the front is focused here. Good, lift and down, lift and down. Try not to take tension into the neck or your shoulders. Each time the leg moves to the front, you're breathing out. Inhale, exhale. Good, so keep the leg in line with the um, hip and try to focus on pointing or flexing the foot rather than encouraging the foot to drop and collapse. Good, another set of four, one. That's the way, two, hold that tummy in nice and tight, three, now mimic the action of riding a bicycle. So we're going to pull the leg in, extend the foot out as far as you can and sweep the leg behind the body. Do one big curl while the foot's behind you. Knee in, take the leg out as far as you can. Big sweeping action and then curl the foot into your bottom. Do two more, knee comes in, extend it out. Big curl to the back, flex the leg behind. And the last one, here we go, again. Whew. So really focusing on reach moving into your range of movement. Rest the leg and come up to your sit position. The leg needs a good stretch before we work you through the other side. So what you can do is raise your knees up and hook your arms around your legs. Pull yourself up nice and tall. All right, now really let your knees lean into your arms without letting the arms collapse. So hold the hands up here in front of the body. There you are. Once you feel that stretch working nicely, the muscles get a chance to relax. It's time to change sides. So bring the head down, press your pelvis, abdominals I should say, line the top foot up. Here we go, have a little play with the foot. So it's a point and a flex, point and a flex. Keep that knee in line with the hip. Watch for that. Stay strong and focus. It might be easier for you to breathe in as you raise the leg up or the other way around. The idea is to keep the body breathing. Keep yourself breathing throughout the exercise. Good. Long through the leg, kick out with the heel. Uh-huh, here we go. Again, you're almost there. Just halfway there. Practice the breathing. Another set of four counts. Lift one, and out. Lift two, and out. Lift three, two more. Okay, hold the leg steady now. Ready, tiny movements, big sweep back. Tiny movement, that's the way. Pull this tummy muscle in. Check that your body is not swaying with the leg. So every time the leg goes back, you're not going forward. So stabilize this part and open up into that hip. Ground the bottom leg as well. Gives you some stability. Push back, tiny movement, make it smaller, much smaller. Eight, and it's seven, six. Hold it up there, everybody. Keep working it through. Four more, one. If you're feeling really tired, have a rest. Two more to go, yay. All right, here comes that bicycle action. So we're gonna pull the knee in. Take your time moving the leg out. One big sweep to the back. Curl the foot behind you. Then you start the exercise again. Move it in, take it behind. Big movement to the back. Curl the foot behind. Here we go, as slow as I'm demonstrating. There you go, hold that tummy muscle in tight. Curl the foot behind and make this the last one. 
Woo, big sweep back. Curl the leg behind you, then pull the knee in and rest. There you have it, three terrific exercises. So hook your arms around the side of the legs, link your hands together and hold it right here. Now just stay with this stretch until your muscles get a chance to really relax and we'll see you shortly for a lot more leg work. Now it's time to turn over and focus on the back area of the body, the posterior muscles. So what we need to do is fold your arms into such position where you can either turn the head to one side. I will not be able to put my head down on my arms because of my microphone. So the girls will actually rest their head down in their arms, legs coming together. The idea is to raise one leg long and away from the body. So it's not about height, it's more about length. So try not to raise this part of your hip where the hip bone is situated. Rest the head down and it's two counts up, two counts coming down. Really focus on squeezing tightly into your butt muscles. Now draw your abdominals in so your tummy muscles don't get a chance to relax here. We need to work them constantly. Regardless of what position I've got you in, focus on pulling your tummy muscles in nice and tight. It is the leg workout, but we still need to focus on stability for your back and abdominals. So lifting and coming down, pace the breathing. Down, relax your shoulders, glide them down the body, a couple more. All right, one more time please. Lift, lift, down, it's time to change legs, going up, up and down. Just being really focused that you're not lifting too high up into the hip. Soften your shoulders and bring the leg up. Exhale, now I'm just gonna keep cueing you and I'm gonna rest my head briefly. Keep going everybody, up. Slide your shoulders down, lovely long through your legs, so be sure that you're not taking the lift anywhere beyond the hip. Abdominals need to focus, engage. It's possibly a good idea that you rest your forehead on the back of your hands and just rest your eyes, do two more extensions. One more time, up, up, down and relax. Now I need you to come out of this position, so roll onto your knees. Have your legs together and sit yourself back just to get that nice little stretch into your back muscles. Okay, the next lot of exercise will have you on your hands and knees and it's bringing the leg into the body and kicking in the foot behind your body. Okay, nice work for this area here. So pull in for two counts, swing it back and up for two counts. Try to keep your back nice and still. So it's very important that you don't do this, just watching, curving the spine in an attempt to get the leg higher. Pull in for two counts, extend it back for two. So keep the body nice and still. Four more times, bring it in. Reach it away. Exhale each time the leg comes in. Reach it away, two more. Keep your weight nice and balanced across your hands. Last one, pull the leg in and reach it away. Good, have a rest. Take your weight off your hands. Rest your head onto your, on, onto your mat. Okay, let's do the other side, everybody. So just watch that you're not starting to lean heavily into the hip that's carrying the weight. Hold the abdominals in, ready and breathing out. Inhale to lengthen, exhale. Inhale to move the leg away, exhale to draw it in. Inhale, carry the leg back, exhale. Inhale, if your neck muscles are starting to ache, it's probably because you're holding your head up too high. So important that you line the back of the neck with the spine. Four more times, curl in one, breathe in, curl in two, breathing in, curl in three, and breathing in, last one, curl in four, and bring it in. Okay, resting, take your weight off your arms. This time you can place your hands and rest your forehead on top of your hands. Relax the neck and shoulders. Okay, now we're going to come back up and it's time now to get you back onto the side of your body. Rest the head and I'd like you to place this top leg in front. So we're going to focus on exercising the inner leg muscles. Hold the waist in nice and tight and carry this bottom leg up and down. Single repetitions. 
Take it up as high as you can. Not beyond the hip. Pull that waist in. And down, up and down. Engage the entire muscles along the inner leg from the groin right down to your ankle. Lifting, breathing out as you lift the leg. Well done. Another four more, please. Lift one, lift two. Bring it up three and four. Now, quick change to the other side. <clears throat> Swing it over. Top leg comes down. Lengthen the bottom leg in readiness. Waist comes in. And here we go. Take it up nice and tall. <sighs> up and down. Up. That's the way. Lifting. Keep that leg really, really straight. We're almost to the end. See how many more you can do. If you want to do the other side, go for it. And we'll see you for a nice little stretch after this. Now what I've done with this one is to have my bottom leg folded into the body and the top leg crosses over. The focus here is stretching into the hip. So I'll start again. Left leg falls in, crossing the right foot over. Now if you cannot get that leg over this knee, just have it somewhere here. Might be more achievable for your hips. Okay. Flexibility in the hips is a real concern for a lot of people, particularly as we age. Our joint starts to stiffen, our muscles shorten. So it's very, very important that you do include a very good stretching program into your exercise routine. Rather than focus on stretching at the end of each session, how about maybe doing a full-on stretch workout for, say, 45 minutes, a so half an hour to 45 minutes, on all the major muscles of your body. And if you're not quite sure, what you can do is, here's just a tip, every time you join us for stretch, just list the stretches out on a piece of paper. And I'm sure by the end of the week, you would have had a good selection there and just work on those stretches. Pencil stick, draw little sticks, figure sticks. Okay, and relaxing it here. So you sit down in the comfort of your own home and a great time to stretch. It's probably at the end of the day, your, your body is kind of nice and warm, you're limbered up, and it's a really nice way to end your day as well. So you don't want to sort of get all hyper and start running around the block. And uh, so if you've done a good workout in the morning, perhaps end your day two, three times a week with a lovely stretching session. Okay, so hip stretch. And releasing it here. Now with your legs out in front, let's try to keep your knees bent at this point in time. Scoop your hands under the back of your thighs, not around the knee, just somewhere around the fleshy area, the bulk of your legs. Lean your body back, scooping your tummy in. But another way that you can get a good stretch routine is through the range of exercise videos that Aerobics Our Style has on offer. We've got Pilates, we've got yoga. Check out the yoga, it's a really nice one. So good stretching ideas there for anyone with major tight muscle issues. And these videos are available from any good department stores. Pull your body in an upright position, swing your hands behind, link your, press the tips of your fingers down, and let's take one leg forward, follow it with the other one. So in this one, I want you to try and encourage sitting upright. Okay, press the back of your knees into the floor, pull your toes back towards your legs, and for comfort, feel free to take your shoes off. Now, take one foot on top of the other and reach forward with the opposite hand. So if your left leg is on top, it's the right hand that goes in front. See if you can add a bit a, st a stronger twist and a turn. Can everyone feel this in the calf muscles? Pulling the toes back. How about you at home? Okay, and then come out of the stretch first. Rest the leg. Little switch, opposite hand, and a twist, sitting up tall. Love this one. Holding it right here. Go. Pulling up. All right, then come out of that stretch. Notice how I kept you in there just that wee bit longer. The next one, hips. So you're going to fold this leg into the body and Swing the other foot behind you so the foot points away. 
take your hands behind so you're virtually resting your weight onto your arms and rotate this hip so it moves towards the forward knee. Okay, lifting it up here. Press the back foot into the ground. If this is not a good stretch for you, come out of the sit cross-legged position and we'll show you another one. Okay, anchor the hip down, a little switch over. Take the foot behind. Be careful that you're not resting on the inside of your ankle. So assist the foot and press down through the front of the foot. Take your fingertips behind, lift the weight up and then rotate over here. There you go. Draw your abdominals in. Keep your shoulders nice and wide so the body doesn't turn. Action is coming from that hip. And releasing it out. Time to come to a kneeling position, everybody. Lunging out with one leg. Whichever leg is behind you, raise that arm and arch your spine. Don't go too deep, take care. And you feel that stretch working into the hip. Arms lifting. Good, and then come down and let's change sides. Big lunge forward, reach into that hip, swing the up, up. So we've shown you some very unique and different stretches today. Hope you've enjoyed the session of our hip and leg workout. Take care and do catch up with us the next time. Bye-bye.